All right, Brian, here we go. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this in a new tab because I don't, I don't really use the app. But if you open a tab and then just go to zoom.us and sign in from the right side, my account, and then click on meetings on the left side. And on the right side, click schedule a meeting. And then you can name it whatever you want. I name mine virtual class meeting. And then you're not worried about the date here because you're going to make this uh, no fixed time meeting. So all you have to do is click recurring meeting. And then under recurrence, click no fixed time. All right. So recurring meeting, check that. And then no fixed time. And that'll get rid of all the, the time stuff because you're just creating a link exactly like we were using with the personal room. Um, but we don't want to use the personal room because we want to be able to change it if it gets hacked. So make sure you have your waiting room checked. Only users admitted by the host can join the meeting. Check on, on for host and participant video. Make sure that participants are not allowed to join any time. You do not want that checked. And yes, you do want to mute participants upon entry. And then click Save. All right, so now, um, you know what? Don't worry about the Google Calendar because there's no fixed time on this meeting. So you just want to highlight this link and then Control Copy or Right Click Copy or File, whatever, how you copy. And then. Now you're going to go to Schoology to your course. So I'm just going to go anywhere to show you how to link it. Um, let's see. All right. Let me just open this up. So you're going to edit your page. Um, so say if you already have something linked, right? So I'm just going to use this line here uh, your highlight where you had your class meeting linked obviously and then click on that link icon and then here there's going to be a link there your old link and you want to delete that of course and then you'll paste in the other link all right and that's it insert all right and then remember how we had to blow these up or maybe that was Carl I can't remember as soon as you link something, it's going to shrink it. So then you can go back and blow it up. All right, so that's it. Uh, copy, control copy, highlight the uh, you know the old link, erase, click on the link icon, erase the link you had in there, and then in uh, paste and insert, and then just do that with all the classes. Let me know if you run into any roadblocks or anything and you need help, okay?